Hello. So today we're going to use some PVC pipes and a windshield wiper motor to make a man who rocks back and forth. <sighs> hey, look at that, a chair. I found this chair on the side of the road and it had one rocker so I ripped the other rocker off of it and I attached this seat for the ass to sit on. I found two pieces of PVC that would slide into one another. Oh yeah, that sounds good. This will be the pivot point for the rocking man. After that I put all the pieces of PVC together for the upper half of my goblin. Once that was all together I used this pipe U screw thingy to secure my larger piece of PVC to the seat of the chair. That way the smaller PVC can rotate inside of the larger PVC. Worried that wouldn't hold up to the motor going back and forth over a long period of time, I decided to add some zip ties. This right here is a windshield wiper motor. I picked mine up on frightprops.com and it comes with everything you need to plug it right into the wall. I grabbed one of these 4x4 post bases and drilled out the holes so that they would fit perfectly over the top of my windshield wiper motor. There's three little holes in your windshield wiper motor that you can bolt this right to and the hole in the middle is where the spinning part of the motor will stick out. I grabbed a couple of these little L brackets and then secured them to the side of the 4x4 post thingy. This is how I'm going to secure the whole entire windshield wiper motor directly to a 2x4. This kit comes with a little arm that connects to your windshield wiper motor spinny part, pin, whatever you want to call it. But you could easily just use another piece of steel to make this part. I attached this longer piece of steel with a couple of washers so that it would continue to spin loosely. Then I attached this whole setup to my windshield wiper motor. Nice! After that I screwed this piece of wood onto the back of my chair where no one will be able to see it. Then I took the whole windshield wiper contraption that I had already made and attached it to that piece of wood and realized that the piece of steel that I had attached wasn't long enough, so I used a piece of pallet wood instead. Oh, come on! I bolted it onto the little steel arm that came with my windshield wiper motor, and with a couple washers in between the PVC and the wood, I screwed it directly onto the PVC. The washers allow for that pivot between the PVC and the wood. Then I plugged the whole device in, and there we go. Check that out. We have the torso of a rocking man. I'll put a link in the description of this video to the Fright Props website where I picked up this motor. Here I'm just shoving some black fabric into a mask so I can fill it out and I put a stick up into the mask and then slid it down into that T piece of PVC at the top of the torso. I screwed the forearms directly to the arms of the chair. Then I screwed a 2x4 to the seat of the chair, screwed the thighs directly to the 2x4. Then I connected all the PVC to one another for the legs using zip ties. The last and final step was to get some clothes on this thing. I just used a bunch of black sheets I had and hot glued them on. When I was done with that, I just needed to add some lights and this project was done. This is the perfect prop to put on your front lawn or front porch with a bowl of candy in its lap for your trick-or-treaters. Ah!